What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, AKA Sean Steiger. We are talking investments today, people. I know you're excited about that. You guys really seem to enjoy this kind of content on my channel, so there's gonna be a lot more of this coming. Don't worry about that. I definitely enjoy making this, so we're definitely gonna do a lot more of these kind of videos in the future. Now, this is Team of the Week 7. I've been out for a while. It's about to leave packs, which is a perfect time to buy these players because most of the people that want these guys have already bought them. There's plenty of stock on the market. Not like we are buying, so this is the perfect time for investors like us to buy these cards. Now, there are three players that you absolutely, absolutely have to pick up for your clubs. Uh, just hold on to them. You can definitely pick up more than one if you want, but you gotta get at least one of these guys in your clubs. But we're gonna talk about that at the end of the video. What I wanted to mention first is a few honorable mentions. And we're gonna start off with this guy here, the right mid, Pablo Sarabia. Pretty decent looking car, four star, four star. Uh, he's from La Liga, Spanish, gets pretty good links there. Pretty solid all around stats, kind of poor stamina though, but the reason we're looking at him is because he's pretty cheap. I think he's under, uh, under like 19,000, under 20,000 coins. He has 20,000 not selling, so you could probably go for like 18, 17K or so. 83 rated in form. He gets great links to guys in La Liga, so he'll be useful for SBCs in the future. The next guy we're going to talk about here is a guy that I actually used in my last weekend league, Fernando Martel. He's my new starting left back. He has been absolutely incredible. I mean, he's got a four star weak foot, three star skill moves. He's got pretty decent pace, exceptional dribbling, really good crossing, and 93 stamina, which is really important on a left back, especially a left wing back, because I run the five at the back now. We'll do a video about that in the future, but yeah, he's been a great card. But the reason I look at him to invest in because he's Brazilian, he's from a decent nation, and he's pretty cheap. You can get him for like probably about 18, 19,000 coins or so. It's gone up a little bit now, but he's a great card, and uh, he's got to be useful for SBCs. And there's not a lot of great ones out right now, but when they do come out in the future, I think he'll definitely shoot up quite a bit. Final guy I'm gonna mention for the honorable mentions this week are gonna be Capone and Scheffler. And the reason I mentioned these two guys together is because of the Player of the Month uh, Premier League SBC coming out very soon, within a few days. It's gonna be either Leroy Sané, who's German, like Scheffler, or it's gonna be Kevin De Bruyne, who is Belgian, like Capone. And if either one of these SBCs comes out and requires a player of that same nationality, you can expect these cards to shoot up, whichever one ends up winning it, so. It might be worth to pick up one of each, kind of hedge your bets on those. Uh, if they're not end up using an SBC, then their price will probably go up a couple thousand coins in a few weeks and you can sell them for a little bit of profit there. Not too risky of a, um, a gamble there, so I would recommend picking up one of those, but you don't have to though. The guys you do have to pick up, absolutely have to pick up these guys. Starting off here with Ashley Young. But he's not a great looking car, he's a right footed, left wing back or left back, with only a three star weak foot. His stats look pretty average. I mean, they got some some gems there, like the 90 crossing and stuff like that, but his card doesn't really look that exceptional, especially when you got guys like um, Danny Rose in the Premier League and stuff to use instead. But the reason is that he's English, he's in the Premier League, and he's playing for Manchester United, which is the most popular club probably in the world. And I can definitely see this card being needed for SBC in the future. It might be needed in the play Premier League Player of the Month SBC. That's coming out in a few days, and if, it, if it's needed in that, he can definitely get to like 28, 30,000 coins in a few days, and he's like 23 or so right now. Um, he'll definitely ship a lot more if he's needed in that, but there's definitely going to be an SBC that requires this card or a card like that very soon, so definitely got to pick up one of those Ashley Youngs. The next guy we're going to talk about is Steve Mandanda. 6 v one not the tallest goalkeeper in the world, but the important thing here is that he's French, which means he gets great links to people, and he is in League Un. Pretty decent league. Uh, he's 84 rated, so you definitely want to pick that card up. He's only about 24k right now, which is really cheap, but trust me, when some Icon SBCs come out that people actually want, I mean, no offense to Hernandez and Petit guys like that, but when the Patrick Vieiras or the Ronaldo Nines or the, um, you know, Ronaldinho's, guys like that come out, this car is going to shoot up in price. He's like 24k now, but I can see him pulling the, uh, like the Roy Patricio win from like this kind of price. He went up to like 40, 50,000 coins. He can easily go up to like 35, uh, 38,000 coins within a few weeks. So definitely invest in one of these cards as well. The last card we got to talk about, this is the real money maker here. Definitely, definitely, definitely got to pick up this card. I'd buy five or six or 20 if you, if you want to. Like this card is absolutely incredible. It's Musa Dembele. Not that Musa Dembele, not the Premier League guy. I know what you're thinking. 
Musa Dembele from Celtic. This guy is absolutely incredible looking. I mean, look at this car. Look at his in-game stats. He's got 87 sprint speed, 86 finishing. He's got 85 agility, which is really important on your forward and stuff to help them uh, control the ball and stuff. 90 heading accuracy. I mean, this is just a great all-around looking card. He's got a uh, he's got four-star skill moves and stuff. Six feet tall. He's got a decent height. I mean, he's got a really good-looking card, and he's French, so that means you can easily link him up in your teams. I definitely see people running this guy in the four-three-two-one. That link up with like Martial, Alessandrini, and stuff like that. The fact that he's French, I mean, I can see him being like a, a cheap uh, Kevin Gamero replacement for you know kind of cheap to mid-tier sort of squads. The reason why you want to invest in this card heavily is because the precedence here with these French forwards. And the first one we're going to mention here is Valbuena who got a card early on in FIFA. Valbuena is like 40 like 50k right now almost 50k which is incredible. So this card was about 24k I think maybe even less than that when he first came out like 20k you know somewhere around there and the fact that he's all he's like doubled in price and just just like in a month or so uh, which is absolutely incredible. He's been rising steadily and steadily uh, ever since. So that's one example of a card there. And then the other one is Romain Alessandrini from MLS, a guy I picked up for my club. You know, I love my MLS guys. But looking at Alessandrini, his card is also shot up to incredible uh, price as well. Look at that, 39, 40K for this card. It's, it's absolutely incredible. His card was like under 20K the week he was out and now he's up to 40K. So if you invested in a bunch of Alessandrinis, you just doubled your coins. Now this is a chance to do this with Musa Dembele. So I definitely recommend picking up Musa Dembele. Pick up like five or six, man, because this card's going to go up in price. I've already got two of them. I'm going to buy at least like seven or eight of them for the coming weeks. Definitely, definitely, definitely pick him up. But there you guys have it. That is it for this video. Uh, make sure you pick up Musa Dembele, pick up Mandanda, and uh, pick up Ashley Young. You might want to invest in Marshall. You might want to invest in uh, Sarabia and... I think Capone and Schaffler might be a good looks as well, so definitely check out those cards. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Helps the channel grow. We are at 40 subscribers and counting. I'm trying to get to 50 by the end of this week. And that would be incredible if we could hit that, but we'll see if we get there or not. Uh, if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So we're trying to grow, man. We've got bigger and better things planned. I need you guys along for the journey. Hit that bell icon too so you get notified whenever I make a new video like this because you want to be first to get in on the action. And that is going to be it for this video. Stay tuned and I will see you next time.